these and I've made a significant amount of progress with the shorts that I started. So I'm very proud of how they're coming out. And for all of those who are wondering, I'm following the exact same tutorial or pattern that I put out a few months back for the crochet lounge shorts tutorial, except the only difference is instead of a fingering weight yarn, of course I am using this number four worsted weight. As you can probably tell, I finished up this other make, this dress, about a week ago. A habit of mine that I have slowly come to notice is I tend to make myself a ton of different items, but for whatever reason, I don't wear them as often as I should. So I figured today, Jordan and I are gonna head out. We're gonna do a little bit of a photo shoot. We're gonna commemorate the newest make, but I'm really, really proud of her. And I don't want my stuff to just sit in my closet. I really wanna be using these and wearing my items and just show them off and be proud of them every single week. So I'm trying to make a little bit more of an effort to love myself, love my creations. I am planning on gifting these to Jordan as like an early Valentine's gift. So, so far it just kind of looks like a big open skirt, which if you guys want to make this into a skirt, you totally can. But I'm getting really close now to separating the two legs from each other. So I'm about halfway done with this newest make. And let me tell you guys, I have fallen in love with this yarn. I say that so often, but I'm genuinely impressed at the moment with these Karen Cinnamon Swirl Cakes. I think that this colorway in particular works up absolutely stunning. I love that it has a little pop of like bluish and violet, but it's still very like neutral and earthy tone. It's kind of giving me 60s 70s vibes so i'm going to continue to work on this bad boy but i am hoping to get this done well enough in time before valentine's day so that i can surprise jordan with another make because not only would i like to wear my own creations more often but i would also like to you know spoil my loved ones and who doesn't want to see their boyfriend their partner their family wearing their own handmade creations so Hello! I just separated the left and the right leg by creating a little crotch chain. I honestly hope that this fits Jordan because he has not tried this on since I made the starting chain. So he has no idea what this looks like yet. And I'm hoping that I chained enough for him. But tell me that these would not make the most perfect beach lounge shorts. So cute. I'm gonna wash off my makeup change into some lounge clothing. 
but I love this dress. I think it's so cute. I think I'm gonna list this on my website. So if you guys are interested, head on over there. I think I'm gonna have this bad boy for sale. It's so comfy, so cute. <laughs> I spent a good portion of my morning and afternoon dealing with a recent issue, but now that I have had some time today to just kind of sit down and unwind, I have made a little bit more progress with the shorts. So as you can see, I've just been working in the round on one of the legs and I think that it's long enough. So I think I'm gonna stop here. As we all know, Valentine's Day is fast approaching, which is why I wanna take this very special occasion to not only treat the loved ones around me, but it's also a really great reminder to take a little bit of a self-care day for the most important person in my life, which of course is me. This Valentine's Day, I'll be teaming up with Ana Luisa to take part in their Love Stories with AL campaign. I view self-love as a way to nourish my mental health and exercise my creativity. I try to make time almost every single day to journal and plan out my week because it's super important for me to process my thoughts and emotions in order for me to improve my own self-awareness. My favorite form of self-love always stems from exploring my creative side. As an artist, having the freedom to design my own clothing plays a huge role in my self-expression and confidence. Regardless of what I'm doing, Ana Luisa's jewelry elevates my everyday look with long-lasting tarnish-free pieces. They use recycled materials wherever possible and create timeless, affordable jewelry without harming the environment. Best of all, they offer speedy delivery worldwide and release new pieces every single week. And of course, as always, I have a lovely coupon code for all of you. Feel free to use Airbnb20 for an extra 20% off your order at checkout. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for partnering with me on today's video. I'm getting ready to crochet a little bit more as I've talked about for the last few months on my channel I'm finally going to be making a lace bolero long sleeve top I'll go ahead and insert a little photo of something that I created a few months back but it wasn't perfect so what I'm gonna do is take that little bit of a lacy portion detail and just apply it to the entire bolero so at the moment I have my little stitch book out. I got this off of eBay for like $15. And there's a pattern in here that I really enjoy, but because I crochet a little bit different than the normal person, I've honestly spent the last 30 to 40 minutes trying to do the correct math to turn this into my own pattern. So for all those who don't know, crocheting from scratch is kind of a challenge especially when you want to turn it into your own creation so i'm just trying to make sure that i have the right information to list in the tutorial because i do plan on turning this into a physical tutorial so we're just going to have a little bit of a time lapse again a little bit more of a crochet with me this yarn has been sitting in my stash since i think september this is the Loops and Thread Natural Marl Yarn. As I've talked about previously with this fiber, it's very gorgeous, it's very luxurious. Okay, I love it. She's fluffy, she kind of has a little bit of like a mohair feel, and she's chainette. But when I previously worked with this yarn, I noticed that the way I was working with it, it turned out extremely dense and super stiff, which is definitely not what I want and like a springy kind of top, especially for like spring, summer. So that is why I'm spending so much time trying to figure out the right way to put this pattern together so that it has a little bit more of a drape to it instead of just being a brick because this yarn is great. Pros and cons, okay, she's gorgeous. I love her, but she does take a little bit of finessing to use her to her full extent, so. I'm gonna use this bad boy. I'm gonna use some of my new Valentine's resin hooks 
to help me with this tutorial. So let us commence. I don't know how it's gonna go. I hope I don't have to start over because I've been sitting here for way too long and I just wanna crochet. So it's time to work. feel like I look like a bum when I work from home, which is pretty much every single day, but I've been putting in a little bit of progress, a little bit of work on the little lace bolero top. So I thought I would show you guys what it's looking like so far. It doesn't look like too much, but as you guys know with the bolero, it's kind of like an above the bust, super micro cropped sweater. So I have the front panel all completed. She's looking cute. I love that you can really see this lacy design. I was a little bit worried after I started the tutorial just with like the colorway of the yarn, but I think that this is gonna stand out really well. So you've got like this little diamond formation with like lacy X formations. So this is the front panel. And then likewise, I finished up the back panel just a few moments ago. So I'm gonna put these to the side because I have already started crocheting the sleeves, but at this point I do need to hop back into tutorial mode because I need to film this part for you guys. So I think this is gonna be okay. The yarn is pretty stretchy, so I'm just gonna roll with it. I've already committed. At this point, I'm probably gonna be finishing up this little daily vlog, this little studio workday crafting vlog, but, but now that I've already started to create a super gorgeous like lacy pattern, I have this overwhelming urge to make a ton more patterns using very unique lacy designs. So yeah, I'm just kind of expanding, expanding my crafting skills, expanding my inspiration, if you will. I'm gonna get back to work, but hopefully by the time that you guys are seeing this video that I will have finished up and completed this little tutorial. Mm -hmm. 